What's up guys Nitin Reddy here from TechTuber as you have seen the title of this video let me share my honest opinion and this LG G8X dual screen I'm using this as my primary device from past one month and I'll show you which are the problems I was facing in this device I was facing three major problems in this device and I'll show you how I solve these problems and if you want to know how I solve these problems then watch the video till end. The first major problem which I was facing was the auto restart or auto shutdown issue. Lots of users were facing this issue as especially in my device when I turn on hotspot after screen timeout it shutdowns automatically or when we use this while in charging then it restarts automatically without the knowledge of the user. For the users who doesn't use hotspot this doesn't seem like any issue but for the users who use hotspot regularly or on daily basis it is a major problem for them. Second major issue which I was facing was the proximity sensor problem. This sensor is placed beside the camera and this is used in pocket mode or while calling to avoid unnecessary touches. Actually you can test all your sensors which are working perfectly or not by clicking on quick help or you can search in settings smart doctor. After opening smart doctor you can see there's option test hardware just click on it and click on test all. It will test all the sensors in your mobile. If it works then fine, if it does not work it will let you know. As in my case right now these all sensors are working properly but just two days back I will show you the screenshot that my proximity sensor was not working and I will show you how I fixed this. Just see the screenshot. Yeah as you can see the proximity sensor notification is not responding contact a customer center and I fixed this without going to customer center. If you are also facing the same issue and want to fix it watch this video till the end. And the third major issue which I was facing was the power button issue where the display doesn't turn off in single click I have to do many clicks. In this case, the display doesn't turn on after doing knock on double tap on the screen. Actually, there's a feature in this mobile which I doesn't like is while we turn on or turn off mobile data, it again pop up a dialog box showing whether you turn it off or not. That thing is really annoying. It should be just simple like just click on the mobile data and it turns off not again ask, asking the permission whether you want to turn it on or turn it off this is so annoying for me and for all other users too i hope lg may fix this within next software update as there are no guarantee of this software update because this is already a one year old mobile i hope lg understand this let us look into the RAM management as you open smart doctor you can see the RAM ok after clearing the apps you can see this LG UI alone is consuming 3.5 gigs of RAM and since, since no apps are running in background and this is maybe this is not so serious issue they must have provided 8 gigs of RAM for this device but there is only 6 gigs variant in this LG can fix this issue through software updates but as we know that this is already a one year old device and software updates are not guaranteed. I may think Android 11 update also will come to this device maybe and yes LG should work on this device especially this device because other devices are quite good. And finally I will tell you how to fix these issues which I was discussing for last few minutes. Just restart your device then hold your volume down and power key. Just as soon as the logo appears just click power key once and hold. 
then you have the option for factory reset as you yes to proceed with factory reset then again if the problem occurs then you can take your device to customer center before doing hard reset you can store your data or you can back up your device by LG bridge app either in mobile or PC and these are the queries which I have posted to LG India as you can see on the screen and I got response from Twitter and they have asked me the details uh, contact details of mine and I have shared them but right now I didn't get response it has been two days as you know there are very limited themes in this LG GATX ThinQ as you can open LG app you can see there are very less themes so I will provide a link in description of XDA developers where you can install any themes you want and they all are ad free either you can install oxygen OS or one UI or hydrogen OS those things make your device look better I will post the link in this description you can go and access it it's completely free you can install Gcam from there too for one who is facing camera issues and obviously the charger which I am using for this device is Ambrane Quick Charge 3.0 charger and it supports Quick Charge 3.2 and charge my device within 2 hours was from 0 to 100 and I am using this OnePlus cable with this because and the cable which came with this LG is looks quite undurable while charging I'm facing heating issue in charging adapter but my mobile is absolutely fine there was no heating issue observed in my mobile and my mobile works absolutely fine and it's time for us to observe the dual display of this mobile as I have installed screen protector on both displays even in second display I have installed the screen protector and I like this LG cloth this is the same cloth which is provided with spectacles but, but this is a lot better quality cloth and this cleans well I haven't installed the screen guard in my third display here in the outer display because I, I use this dual display very less that's why let me clean this as this is a glass finish we can observe many fingerprints on this or you can buy any skins from wrap cart those skins will cost you around 350 or 300 and they have better quality than this d brand d brand is quite expensive it costs nearly 700 and as you can observe both screens there is a quite difference between this both screens one is clear and one is opaque as you can see this opaque one is less costly it costed me around 50 rupees from my local shop but the clear case costed me around 200 rupees but it is quite durable but while folding these both are slightly thick so while folding this i'm not getting proper proper set so you can see that while shaking the display is the display is opening so maybe it's better to use a flexible glass it also costs around 100 or 200 you can see you can buy that from amazon fcs brand i think i will post the link in the description I didn't like this clear case provided with this LG device as within one month of use this device became yellow in color and maybe within the one year of use this clear case will become yellow in color. This is LG Stylus 2 this was my previous device which I was using 
among the comparison between both you can see this is very slim and it has buttons behind them down the camera yes it looks like fingerprint but actually this is a three year old but it has a stylus it works very well and it has a soft tip as you, and there will be no scratches and i'm using that without any screen protector actually in this mobile the ram management is quite good it has only two gigs of ram and it works absolutely fine and the ui is a lot better than this lg g8x i don't know why lg ruined this in lg g8x model but in other models but in other lg models you can observe that all are good clean except this lg g8x all models of lg mobile were good like lg velvet it is also excellent mobile or lg that new phone with sliding display but you can see this device is very good and it has buttons behind and down the camera i like this device very much and it has larger display as compared to lg g8x but now as comparison with lg g8x lg g8x is a lot better because it has snapdragon 855 but that lg stylus 2 has snapdragon 400 series yeah of course it is a very old device around three or four years old device this was today's stuff tech tubers stay tuned for more tech related content see you in the next video I should fuck her in the best yeah.